Hi guys, this is Basco here. Uh, last couple of weeks, so I think I have done a tutorial on Apache, uh, sorry, on Scala thing. So I'll be I'll be loading a few more tutorials on the Scala and the basics things which have to be done. And uh, today I'm going to add a new uh, uh, tutorials on uh, Apache Spark, which I'm going to be uh, adding a couple of more videos. Before that, please do subscribe my YouTube channel. So okay and uh, okay let me start today what i'm going to do is uh, basic tutorials on spark like how to read a csv file in a spark uh, i'm directly going into the technical part of this because i don't want to bombard you with the theory and uh, everything because whenever we arise with a problem then we we'd go with the details of the theory then it would be much understanding as as a personal opinion of mine so that's the reasons I don't want I do not want to spend much time on the theory part. I'll be explaining wherever required and in the parts in the video. Uh, okay, let me start with the basic thing: how to read a CSV file from the in a Spark through the environment. So I do not want to use the IntelliJ right now, the IDE. So I'm going to use a just a command prompt. Uh, this is uh, to open the Spark shell, uh, Spark environment. First, you need to be installed the the environment setup to be done in, as I showed in the previous video. So you can watch this color tutorials by Barry, which you need to set up all the requirements for this video. Like one is Java, other is Spark shell. Uh, these both would be fine for the for you guys to work on. Okay. So let us open the Spark shell where we can uh, type the Spark commands and see how it goes through that okay um what is this spark shell spark shell is nothing but it's a scala repl plus it imports all the sparks uh, apis plus values um let me show you the the imports part which we have here This is for just for the beginners. So for the advanced, I'll be making a separate couple of videos. So uh, if you are a beginner, okay, it's a very good video to watch. Okay, and uh, if you see here, we have a Spark context available. So we can use this SC to use this Spark shell here and write all the Spark commands, which will run on JVM. By the way, uh, and moreover, before that, version 2.10. So not have this. To check how to, you can just type Scala version. So you can see here the same one which we are, which I am using here currently for this video. So it is a 2.1 video. So as I told, this Spark shell is nothing but Scala REPL plus Sparks imports all the values. So let me show you what are the imports we have here. Click on it. So if you see this, we have Spark implicit uh, 59 terms, 38 are implicit, and one term Spark SQL. So these are all the inbuilt uh, APS that will provide you for the writing various functionality functionalities and uh, it will be very flexible to use these uh, imports okay and uh, without knowing anything in spark because I've never told uh, much on theory on this Spark. so what is this spark okay spark is a, a framework which is used to support various functional languages like Java C no, sorry Java R Python and Scala and it's a uh, uh, API generally to say what is Spark? Spark is an API which is used for data processing in a very faster mode when we compare to Hadoop. Uh, okay, um, okay. Let us start with the uh, basic command saying what is a Spark? Type a Spark and uh, press enter. So it just opens your Spark SQL sessions. Okay, let me start working on Spark like. So how to know what are the methods we have, how which method to be called. So because we don't know anything. So this is a starting session. So let me start with spark dot. So this dot and press a tab, it gives you all the instances available on spark. Okay. Sorry, I pressed a couple of tabs more. So if you see this pa first part here, first part here, uh, these, these are the uh, methods that is going to provide after you. So for timing, I'm going to take a read option here because that's what familiar with which we come across. So when you say read, as you know that it generally used for reading uh, files or any any kind of data to read that. That's just a meaning here. 
so let me know after read what we what kind of files to read so let me again press a dot and press a tab so you can see how the type of files it can be read the spark can be read if you see how we can read csv format JD, JBD, jdbc json options sorry orc forgot schema table table i meant here it's a hype table and text files okay so you can read so let us read a csv file for timing as i told you that i'm going to read a csv file in from spark so let me show you how to read the csv file here okay so we have option here after dot we have the csv option here so let me go that csv and uh, provide the path for here so um, you can provide the text uh, file path which we have here so let me show you the um, uh, path so in this file i have kept a, a basic test file called student let me show you the data here so this is the data present in the student file let me increase the font for you guys okay so you can see here we have a five rows with the id name and age columns so i'm going to give the entire path here we can give even the hadoop file systems if you have here the path of the hadoop instead of c you can give like uh, uh, hadoop file system to read the files from the hadoop if you have the path but i'm giving a local file local path and the file name is student the txt files with comma separated values okay just let me press enter here and moreover it reads all the data format files you can give you a specific format here so if you see here it has read as in a data frame let me show you the data how it has read here so this is the data which it is read from the text file but if you notice here the uh, header columns which is uh, not the proper in our format so let us do one more thing so what option we have here okay if you go here if you press tab again you see here one more option here which you can set the header columns okay so i'm going to use that option here option set header as true because it contains a header in the file dot CSV and provide this path here again. Okay. So let us show you what it can do. So if you see here, let me show you the data. So if if you see here, then I header columns has been uh, arranged properly with the names here. So this is how we can read the file and moreover to save this uh, let me save it in a this is generally st storing the data frame let me store it in a variable called uh, student so i'm storing it in a student and what operations can be done using this frame of uh, to know the type of that just uh, just type this command semicolon type and uh, whatever the object we have so you get to know what is that object uh, data type declarations of that object so it you can see here it's a data frame so the student is a data frame so what operations can be done on a data frame in spark sql if you press on a student dot and tap you can get the all the combinations of what it can be done here so uh, the simple method which i was showing there if you see here we have a show method also here so you can just for timing i'm going to use this method and show you how the data contains there so it shows you the same method uh you can add uh, you can add multiple rows to the same table you can edit this okay you can do a lot of other things in the same file here 
data frames. So I am going to explain you details about the data frames in the couple of next sessions. Okay. Um, if you have any queries, any doubts, any comments, please pass on your comments in my YouTube channel here in the below. So okay. Uh, thank you for watching. Please do subscribe my YouTube channel.